Well, I am Daniela Pipa and uh, this is the last exercise of this uh, third block of exercises. Uh, this uh, exercise consists of uh, uh, doing eight different um, actions uh, between um, labels, directory, letters uh, or envelopes. Uh, this one, the first one, is uh, to create a combination of uh, correspondence type, levels, Apply model 1276 for all the products of the database without conditions. So, is uh, this one, first of all, what uh, uh, I have to do is to go on File, down Options, Advanced and uh, activate show text boundaries here and then uh, I, I, I went on mailings start mail merge label yes. then select I have selected uh, the model that the exercise asked to insert so up Apply one two seven six. Okay, and then what I I have to do it's uh, uh, to use an existing list. So for that, I want where I have the databases product open. I have to choose one of them. Then what I did it was uh, uh, what I did it was to inter, uh, to insert a merge field for uh, I inserted uh, ID products name products uh, the category unit price and unit in stock. Then I clicked on update labels and the preview result I can see all of the products. Then I save the document as the main document, uh, one, all products. And uh, after doing that, I click on finish and merge, edit individual document uh, to create uh, the combined document. So here I have the combined document. I have to print the document to PDF. So uh, to do that, I, I went on file, print, and I, I print the document to PDF here and after that I sign in the document digitally by going on tools certificate here for certificate uh, digital uh, digitally sign I selected the area when uh, I wanted to sign and uh, I click on continue and uh, then I sign it. So the second exercise is uh, to make uh, a list, a directory of all the condiments in the database so that they appear in the list. I did this exercise and uh, I went, uh, first of all, I went on mailings, uh, start mail merge. I selected that uh, this is a directory. Then I, I inserted the the existing list it was the same as the first one product and I selected it when uh, then what I did it was to put the tab marks I put the tab, uh, the left tab uh, for the ID and uh, for the name product and uh, the decimal tab for the unit stock and unit uh, unit price then i clicked on the previous previous result and i saved the document as the main document uh, number two condiment product and uh, i clicked on finish and merge edit individual documents to create the uh, combined um, document is this one then I clicked on file print print and I save the document as the with the same name here 
uh, with the with the same name and I sign it, it digitally by doing repeating uh, the the same actions. So let's continue with uh, the um, number thirteen, and that is the third exercise. Um, I have to create a copy of exercise one and make the modification of the main document to include in the price the VAT rate, twenty one percent. So to do that, what I did it was um, here. Um, it was uh, uh, always uh, start main merge uh, labels and then I selected and inserted an existing list from my database uh, for uh, is, uh, is the database of all products and then what I did it was uh, to insert here the merge field ID product name product category the same as the uh, first exercise and here in the unit price I inserted uh, the 21% of the battery so uh, how I did this I did this at uh, alt f9 I inserted uh, a field code and uh, by pressing ctrl plus f9 and uh, it was uh, the unit price multiplicated for 21% uh, uh, I closed the, the brackets and uh, uh, um, press Alt F9, then F F9, and uh, uh, update levels. And on previous results, here I have all the uh, results for all products. With the arrow, we can see the modificated one. So uh, I save the document uh, by repeating the same actions as the main document, three all products, uh, mm, uh, but rate 21%. Then I clicked on finish and merge, edit individual documents to create the combined document here. And then uh, I print the, the document uh, to PDF. here and uh, here I sign it uh, digitally by repeating the same actions. Now the fourth uh, exercise it's uh, to modify exercise 2 so that the column the column price is purchase price and add a new column sale, sale price so that what is added in this column. So I did it and uh, here I change the unit price is the purchase price and then I edit sale price. Uh, to do that uh, I went on start mail merge. Uh, I, uh, this is a, a, a directory. I choose the directory then I introduce the existing list uh, that is the, uh, the database of all products and uh, then I insert it here. I write by uh, putting uh, always the tab marks here I, I inserted the left mark and then here the decimal ones here what I did it was uh, I added this uh, sales price and uh, by pressing alt F9 uh, what I did it was to introduce uh, uh, control plus F9 uh, the field code and uh, it was unit price multiplicated for 21% plus a uh, unit price and then I pressed Alt F9, F9 and this is the uh, result for the sales uh, price. I save the document as the main document for the condiments uh, products plus 21% uh, of that rate and then uh, I clicked on finish and merge edit individual document and I um, I combined and save the document as the combined document condiment products then I printed uh, uh, by repeating the same actions as uh, for uh, always for this uh, block of exercises I print the document to PDF and sign it it uh, digitally yeah
This is the fifth exercise. In this uh, exercise, uh, I will uh, create a combination of correspondence type labels of the model 1268 for all the products of the database that, that are pastries, dairy or uh, baking. I will indicate the name, quantity for unit and unit on order and the price. So uh, how I did this exercise? I did it uh, by um, start mail merge labels. I choose the uh, uh, this model, uh, Apple one two seven six. Okay, and then what uh, I inserted the database of the product. Here. Okay, and uh, what I did next, it was as uh, I am, uh, 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 I inserted the insert merge field, uh, the name of product, un quantity per, per unit, unit price. So uh, then, uh, what uh, what I'm going next, uh, what I'm going to do next, it's uh, uh, to click on edit recipient list and. Uh, I will uh, select the category uh, for uh, pastry, bakery or dairy. Here I, I had a problem because uh, when I inserted the, all of them, uh, the, the program doesn't recognize it says that uh, uh, there are zero of them category for instance you see and uh, so uh, I I choose only what I did it was uh, I choose only um, pastries category here Okay, so what I did it was to uh, uh, update uh, labels and preview results for all of them. Then I saved the document as the uh, the main document pastry product. Then uh, I clicked on finish and merge and by repeating the same action, add the document and the individual document and I save it as the combined document and uh, then I print the document to PDF and uh, sign it digitally. This is the PDF and this is the sign it uh, one. So uh, the next exercise, it's, uh, it's this list of the all products, price and quantity per unit of the suppliers. And I have to, um, to select uh, all, all these uh, uh, products. So, how I did this exercise? This exercise, uh, uh, first of all, as uh, always, I started uh, on mail merge directory. I inserted the, the existing uh, list, the database of the products. Then uh, I, uh, I used, uh, um, I put the tab marks, uh, the left one from name of product, quantity for unit and uh, unit uh, unit price. Then on the second row, what I did it was to insert merge field, uh, name product, quantity for unit and unit price. Uh, after that, unit price, I clicked on rules and I inserted next record. I copied the entire row and I paste it uh, as many times I, I need it. So uh, to do what the exercise asked, uh, it was go by going uh, on edit recipient list. And here I choose, I had the same problem as the previous one. When I inserted here all of suppliers, all of them, all of them, uh, it says it says that uh, there are uh, zero products, so I I have uh, I choose 
uh, so only one Lega trading and by clicking OK I can see that there are only three of them then I save the document as the main document six supplier uh, Lega trading and also uh, I, I clicked on finish and merge and I saved the uh, combined uh, document here and uh, always this, by repeating the same uh, um, actions I have here the PDF document and here the signing one now we, we are going to continue with, with this part of the exercise um, we have to, to make a directory of, of, of them indicating name, supplier and price with, um, without what rate so um, for that I created, uh, I did this exercise uh, first of all I changed the orientation of my page then I write there uh, here name product supplier price with VAT and price without VAT and I put uh, the tab mark the left one for the uh, for name products and supplier and then the, the decimal tabs with price with VAT and without the VAT so uh, we did the same actions uh, as always start merge directory then uh, I inserted the um, database and uh, then uh, to do uh, to know um, I, I, I am interested only with the, the uh, products that have been cancelled so uh, I want to edit recipient list I went there and I clicked on true and here I have my uh, um, my products, but uh, I, I I forget to, to say that in the second row I inserted the uh, merge field, uh, the name of product, then the supplier here, and then the uh, the price uh, rat. To do that, I inserted a field code uh, by pressing Control plus F9. Uh, I uh, inserted the equal uh, symbol, and then I I. I inserted the unit price, multiplicated for 21% plus a uh, unit price and then I pressed Alt plus F9 to know what is the price with the uh, VAT rate and uh, to know um, without VAT rate it's just the, the unit price. So here I, I clicked on rules and I inserted next record, I copied the row and uh, pasted it as many times as I need it. So uh, I saved the document as the main document cancel products and then I, I combined uh, the, the document and also I printed it to uh, PDF and I signed it. Uh, this is the signed one and this is the uh, just only the document. The last exercise of this uh, block of exercises is to create a combination of correspondence type labels, QR and code bar, uh, Apply model uh, 1276 for the, all the products of the database without conditions. So uh, to do that, uh, what I did it was um, here uh, I selected that uh, this is a labels and uh, I I selected uh, this model I on K and then I inserted uh, as always the database of the old products and uh, what I did uh, next it was uh, uh, to uh, here I inserted only the name of products and then what I did it was to uh, go on uh, add an ins here. I open it and I choose the, the QR code and I insert it here, insert field, the unit price. Then what I did it was to click on insert by code and I inserted the code here. Then what I did it was update labels, previous results 
and I save the document as the main document, combine document, uh, sign it, um, print to PDF and sign it in digitally. Then the second part is uh, to, to insert also uh, a code bar uh, by um, inserting um, inside the unit uh, in stock. So I created this uh, document and uh, as always uh, um, I went, uh, I inserted here the name of, uh, of the product and uh, here I inserted the code one two eight and here in search fields i inserted unit in stock clicked on insert barcode and i inserted it i choose the option in front of the text and here i can move it and put it when whenever i i want it as always the same actions by repeating the same action uh, to save the document uh, to combine it in and also to print to PDF and to sign it digitally. With this step, this exercise ends here.